You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, to help you prepare for the FE Exam, we're going to calculate the projected life of a new landfill. This problem might be found in the Water Resources and Environmental section of the FE Exam. This problem was created and solved by Engineer in Training Enrique Ivers and is brought to you by PPI a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. In this problem, we're asked to calculate the projected life of a landfill. This is an example of a problem that you may come across on the FE that isn't particularly difficult, but might have a couple snags that um, you know might trip you up. You know, for example, all of the dimensions are given in meters instead of what you're probably used to with feet and inches. Um, the daily cover that we'll get into is. Uh, specified as centimeters, so we'll have to do a small conversion there, and we'll have to make a couple of small assumptions to actually be able to model this problem. So the way the problem reads, we're told that the landfill is 500 meters by 200 meters in plan area, and that it's 30 meters deep. So we can kind of envision this as being a, you know, a hole in the ground that's 500 meters uh, in one direction and 200 meters in the other direction. It's rectangular and it's 30 meters deep. And then we're told that the average daily filling pattern after compaction of refuse is expected to be 20 meters by 10 meters by four meters. We're also told that local ordinance requires daily cover uh, to be 15 centimeters per day. So that would be 0.15 meters per day. And we can make the assumption that this is only required on working days. So this is only going to be in conjunction with the refuse that is uh, filled into the landfill. Uh, we're told that the company will operate the landfill Monday through Friday, every week in the year with no holidays. So we can assume uh, five days a week, 52 weeks a year. And we are told, uh, or we're asked what the projected life of the landfill will be. And we're offered the choices nine years, 12 years, 14 years, or 18 years. So we can make pretty quick work of this problem with the information that they've given us. Uh, it's important to go through and, you know, you can model this in a couple of different ways, but I think the most important thing is that you have a consistency in the way you model it and uh, a consistency in the way you label things. So we have the volume of the proposed landfill and we are going to call this V subtotal, so volume subtotal. This is equal to the product of 50 meters by 200 meters, the plan area, and the 30 meters of depth, which when we calculate this is three times 10 to the sixth power cubic meters. The rate of the refuse placed into the landfill, we'll call this V sub refuse, the volume of the refuse. And this is the product of 20 meters by 10 meters with four meters of depth per day or per working day. This ends up being 800 cubic meters per day. Now, you might be asking, what about the daily cover? We have to take you know, that into account, right? And that is a great question. We definitely need to take that into account too. So we're gonna call that V sub cover. As noted before, this is 15 centimeters. And up to this point, we've only been working in meters. So our best bet to avoid any sort of mistakes uh, is to convert this to meters. So we're just going to say this is 0.15 meters and the, uh, 
this depth is over the area of the 20 meter by 10 meter area of refuse. So that cover only needs to cover the refuse. It doesn't need to cover the entire plan area of the landfill every day. So that's another assumption that we have to make, um, but it should be a very reasonable assumption. So ultimately the volume of this cover that is required is 30 cubic meters per day. So we need to make an assumption on the number of days of operation per year. As I alluded to earlier, we're, you know, we're gonna call this D sub YR, or D sub year. As I alluded to earlier, we're told that the dump operations are Monday through Friday, five days a week, all year, no holidays. There's 52 weeks per year. So this works out to be five times 52 or 260 working days per year. So we have enough information now to create a rough model based on these averages for the equation of the project life of this landfill. Life of this landfill is the total volume divided by what we add into it. So the volume of refuse and the volume of cover divided by the number of working days per year. So when this is all said and done, we will have an answer that ends in the unit's years. So substituting in our known values, we have three times 10 to the six power cubic meters of total volume. That's how big our landfill is. 800 cubic meters of trash or refuse per day goes into this landfill. And then we have to add the required 30 cubic meters of cover uh, per the local ordinance per day. And then as we calculated earlier, based on our assumption, there are 260 working days per year. Calculating this all out, we find that the expected life is 13.9 years. Referring back to our list of answers, we see that this is well within the margin of error for answer C, 14 years. So we go with 14 years as our answer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Practice, practice, practice. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.